Here we are in the heart of Rafah, and we're standing in the gap so that terrorism will not win and our nation will stay free. It's been thousands of years since Abraham and Isaac were in Mount Moriah, Mount Zion, and heard the promises of God over our nation's capital. It's a chosen city. And, you know, we remember Jerusalem Day today. Today's Jerusalem Day. Second Chronicles 6, verse 6, it talks about, I've chosen Jerusalem, that my name will be there. It's the only city in the world where God's name is placed center for like the, all the nations got to come there. It's a place, Deuteronomy 12, 5, you will seek the place of the Lord your God and will choose, that God will choose out of all the tribes where he puts his name, makes his dwelling place there in Jerusalem. It's our eternal capital. Thousands of years have passed since Isaac and Jacob, the 12 tribes would come up there and bring their sacrifice you know, to the talks temple. About that place once being the center Pretty cool. of the world, it's like about the, where the nations would come up. They don't quickly come in or get rain. It's the eternal capital. It says the Lord has greatly desired it for his dwelling place. Psalms 132. It's his resting place forever. So Jerusalem Day, as we're in the midst of it, you know, a city of peace. Um, Isaiah 66, verse 12. And I just think of, and I just want to, you know, the song, Yerushalayim Shil Zahav. Jerusalem of gold. I think of the, the restoration promises. The nations are going to come and help rebuild Jerusalem. Isaiah 65 verse 18. And be glad and rejoice together. And, you know, it's it's a place that's so, uh, you know, the Al-Aqsa flood is what they called, the Hamas called their uh, attack, massacring, zombie apocalypse, genocidal, um, evil, barbaric uh, monsters. When they came through, they called that about Jerusalem, you know, El Aqsa is where that, that mosque sits in our, where our temples used to stand, on top of where our temple used to stand, you know, and, but really rejoice greatly, Zechariah 9 verse 9, your king will come to you, and so, it's, it really is a place that I just want to honor, and Zechariah 14, that is the place where all the nations will come and meet God. So even at the end of time, all of the nations will see the Messiah come to Jerusalem.